Hey guys, welcome to Connie's Wigging Out. I have a new video today. I am wearing Ellen Villa's Esprit. This wig is really super cute. It is a wavy, um, short bob. I really like my bobs. I normally do straight bobs, but I've been looking for that wavy, wavy, wavy <laughs> style for so long. Um, and I think I've found it. However, there are a few things about this wig that I feel like I need to work on. I will tell you this. I just literally popped this on my head. Now, I've had this wig for probably a month now. And so I've washed it several times. And this is newly washed. So I washed it hung it upside down to dry. It, I have trained it um, up here at the top to uh, have a little lift so that it's not in my face so much. It's not really a face flopper. It just needed a little contour up here, but sometimes I feel like it might look a little wiggy. <laughs> I really talk about in my channel that I don't want permatease and I want low, low density in my wigs. This definitely is low density. I feel like I need a little more wave in this wig. I would, I would think it's perfect if it just had a little more wave in it. You know, it's supposed to be relaxed and just kind of a little shaggy wave, a little bit of uh, sass. <laughs> I love the length. Love, love, love the length. Won't It doesn't rub on your collar. So far, I've had no tangling in the back. And like I said, I've had it for about a month and I've worn it a lot. This wig does have a teeny bit of permatees. Teeny, teeny, teeny. Like right right at the top. Maybe that's why sometimes I think it looks a little wiggy and I'm wanting more volume down at the bottom. Maybe that's it. I don't know if you can tell or not. You know, wigs always seem to look a lot better on people in a video. <laughs> I don't know why that is. And then you order it and then you get it home and you're just like, ugh. That looks awful on me. Let me go over her measurements. Her front is seven and a half. Uh, her sides are seven and a quarter. The nape is seven and a quarter and the crown down is 10. This wig is not heat friendly. So I'm going to attempt to put a little heat to it, even though I shouldn't because I'm trying to get a little more of this where I can pull that back. So when I was watching some other YouTube videos um, of my weak sisters, one person suggested this hairstyler. And basically all it is is a um, nice brush. It's not too harsh and um, it's just an air dryer an air curler, whatever you want to call it. So you're not like wrapping a really, really hot curling iron around your hair. So we're going to try this and see if it helps. And it may not, but I'm hoping that it'll do a little bit more than just leaving it like this. Before I do it, I'm going to do a 360 and let you see it from all sides. So we can see it before we try to put a little curl into it. Okay, so here's the front. It's the right side. See, I love the little flip, the little flippy it has right there. Here's the left side. And then here's the back. So 
The back is very natural looking. The whole wig is very natural looking. Uh, I don't think I told you the color. This is Bernstein Rooted. Bernstein Rooted. It's 122619. So let's get to the curling. I do not want to ruin this wig. I don't think it helped a little bit. Maybe. I got a little, I got a little, I got a little scared for just a minute because I felt like it was uh, sort of frizzing it out and I was afraid that it might be burning it. So that's why I stopped. <laughs> Take a little bit of hairspray. This is just Beauty Mark Style and Hold Hairspray. It's not necessarily my favorite. It doesn't for me, it doesn't hold my wigs that well, but it's gentle on your wigs. But let's see. A couple little squirts of that on there. Sort of lift that up a little bit. I guess you know, this side does look more fixed, um, and this side definitely looks more natural. So, I don't know. It just depends on what kind of style you're looking for. But I think what I was talking about with the permatease, so I think it puffs this out just a little bit. Then I think it kind of sucks in, comes back out, and maybe that's what it is that I feel like might look a little wiggy or maybe it's just my imagination <laughs> I'm still wearing it so you could probably get some styling cream this John Renault peace out cream you could probably put a little bit of that in it no well, let's just do it I don't use this stuff very often because it's really sticky but I guess if you were wanting, I don't really put a lot, just a little bit right there on my fingertips. I guess if you're wanting it to just sort of go back a little bit off your face and have a little more style. I got a little on my face there. <laughs> Nobody said that beauty was easy. <laughs> okay. Well, that sort of did mostly the same thing that the curling brush did. Here's this side with the curling brush. And here's this side with the peace cream. Now, the question is, which side will stay better? I don't know. Maybe I'll wear this today and just leave it like this and see which one does. Uh, let me, I got this stuff all over my hands. I was going to sort of zoom in, let you see the, the lace front, how wonderful it is. It's got a beautiful part. She has an extended lace front mono part and a partially hand tied cap. And I'll show you that toward the end of the video. And I think that's why her price point is a little bit higher. Everybody knows how much I love Ellen Villa. I have the most success with her wigs as far as low density and low permatease and petite to average caps. I also will say this cap would probably fit more of an average head than Ellen Villa's typical caps. So if you have more of an average size head, then I would definitely look into this if you like the style. All right, I think I covered all the bases. Let me take her off and we'll look at the inside of the cap.
Okay, I'm back. I had to wash my hands from all that um, sticky piece cream. But I wanted to put on my Ellen Villa Drive and I wanted you to see the difference in these two Bernstein Rooteds. My Drive is from Ellen Villa's Perucci collection and it says Bernstein Rooted 1224-27. 12-24-27. Probably can't see it, but. And it says plain as day, Bernstein rooted. Then the Esprit uh, says 12-26-19. And that is in the Hair Society collection. So maybe she changes up the colors according to the collections. I don't know. But it's really frustrating when you get a color that you really love and you know without a shadow of a doubt that you love Bernstein Rooted and you think all the Bernstein Rooted are going to be the same. But just know, they're not. <laughs> I wear a lot of light Bernstein Rooted too. And that's um, like in my Ella Villa Flirt, um, my Ella Villa Elite. And those sometimes are a little different in shades as well. So just know that when you're going in. If you like this color in this drive and you order Bernstein Rooted, you know this is what you're going to get. I'll do a quick little so you can see the color on the sides. It's pretty, pretty color. All right, let's look at the inside of the cap for a spree. This is the partial hand tied cap, but it does have some wefting um, overlay right here in the back. It does have an extended lace front down to the ear tabs, velvet ear, ear tabs, and an extended nape Velcro adjusters. So it's very, very comfortable. So I'm going to pop it back on and we're going to step outside for just a minute and I'll let you see this color and this style outside. It's pretty cloudy here in the grand state of Georgia, but maybe that'll be better so there won't be a glare on it. I'll be right back. All right, I guess I was mistaken. Um, the sun has come out now. <laughs> Just in the five minutes it took me to get out here. This is um, actually in the shade a little bit. So I'm gonna let you look at this color. I can't hold this phone and turn it. You can see this color in the sunshine. I hope you can see it. This is Bernstein rooted, so I'll let you get a look at the root. It's not a really dark root. It's a nice color root. All right, well, that is my review of Ellen Villa's Esprit. I hope you guys liked it. Um, hit the bell if you want to get more of my videos and notifications that I've put one on. I am trying to get a little bit better with um, updating them. It's just hard to fit it in with work and life and all that good stuff that goes along with wearing hair. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.